In this vector, what I'll be discussing is the pointing vector. Now, previously we had spoken about the energy of an electromagnetic wave. And we looked at that, we determined the energy both at looking at the electric field as well as the magnetic field. And we're going to do the exact same thing here. But let me get, before we get too far ahead of myself, let's describe, let me talk a little bit about what the pointing vector is. The pointing vector is a vector that's going to describe the intensity of an electromagnetic wave. So what we have here is we have an electromagnetic wave. The green curve represents the electric field, which is going to, in, which is traveling in the plane of the board going this way. The pink line represents the magnetic field which is going in and out of the plane. So towards you folks, back towards me in the pink line. And it's traveling in this direction. We'll get to the box in a little bit. But this wave, the electromagnetic wave, is traveling at the speed of light. See, and we showed that in the previous, I showed that in the previous video. And the pointing vector is given the symbol S, and it has, oops, it has units of joule per second per meter squared. Now a joule per second is really the same as a watt per meter squared. So that's going to be the units of the pointing vector. Now what is this box? Well if we're going to measure the intensity, how much intensity are we going to measure? At what distance? All right. So we're particularly taking out one small section of space, making a box, and we're going to determine the intensity of the light through this box. Now, how long a time would you ask? Well, we're going to do it for a year, for a second. It all depends upon the time. We get to pick what time we want because the distance that the light travels is represented by C, the speed of light, and T, how long a time we choose. So I'm going to choose a second. To me, that makes the most sense. A second. The distance it travels is the speed of light, the speed times the time. So if you take a speed times the time, you're going to get a distance, correct? Now, this pointing vector, S, is equal to the power over a meter squared which is equal to an energy per time meter squared. Because remember, this is going to now be an energy per time or per second. Oops, I don't want to time. I'll just put a second there. That'd be fine. I will go back to time. I think time will be better. We got to get to pick the time we want. Time will be better here. Now, this would be, so the energy per time is the same as a joule per second, right? Here we have a watt which is a power per meter squared. So let's look at this and how do we deal with the energy. Now remember, in the previous video, we looked at the energy for an electromagnetic wave, right? We looked at the energy for both the electric field as well as the magnetic field. So we have the total energy total energy is equal to U, which is our energy, we've seen that previously, times the distance that has traveled, which is CT times the area. That's our total energy. Therefore, our S is going to be equal to our total energy, U, CT, all upon A, divided by, now, our T, and this becomes our A. Remember, the meter squared is still going to be an A, right? We could just erase that as an A. And what happens is our T cancels, our A cancels with up above. Therefore, our pointing vector is really U times C. So whatever our U is, which is our, our energy, times the speed of light. So I'm going to use green once again. I know I probably shouldn't use green here, but I'm going to use green once again, and we're going to look at now the electric field. Now, if you recall from the electric field, our, our U for that was equal to epsilon the intensity of the magnet, the intensity of the electric field squared. So therefore, our pointing vector for the electric field is going to be equal to U, which is epsilon naught E squared times C.
if we're going to look at it for the magnetic field, right, for the magnetic field, now recall from the other video, our energy of the magnetic field is B squared upon mu naught. Therefore, our pointing vector for the magnetic field is going to be our U, which we have here, times our C. So this becomes B squared C upon mu naught. All right. So we can find the intensity of the electric field by that equation there. And we can find the intensity of the magnetic field as B squared C upon mu. All right. If you have any questions about the pointing vector or anything else in this chapter, please ask.